Away! A fiery horse with the speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty high-yo silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. No one could match his courage, strength, or daring, and the stories of his deeds have come down to us through the generations. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear and relive one of his most thrilling adventures. Everywhere excitement ran high, as word of the great stage race between Gold Flats and Cooperstown spread throughout the district. I seen the stage just beyond Paiute Springs. They say it was ahead of schedule, even Marysville. You should have seen them tearing over the train. I bet they went out. They got a chance. How soon will we know? And while speculation and interest grew, the stage itself thundered toward its goal. Driven by the lone ranger who had assumed the identity of Wild Bill Riley, a famous driver, it swayed and careened over the trail. Happy Joe Monk, shotgun messenger, and the lone ranger's companion on the journey clutched the jolting seat with both hands. <laughs> Want me to take the reins, Bill? Yes, hang on. We're going to make it? By morning. You're crazy. That'd be more than 12 hours ahead of schedule. Can't be done. Watch us. Bill, if you do it, blame if I don't find me a girl and get hit. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get me some grandchildren so I can tell them about the fastest trip my coach ever was heard of. Ten miles to the next station and fresh horses. <laughs> get up there. Get along there. Get up. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the cafe at Cooperstown... Mr. Crocker. Oh, hello there, Jim. Have a drink. You look as though you could use one. No, thanks. I... Honest, Mr. Crocker, I'm too doggone excited to swallow. Well, I don't blame you. I, I wanted to ask you something. I, I don't want you to think I figured the government would go back on its word, though. What is it? Well, it's still a bargain, ain't it? I mean, if my stage gets to Gold Flats today, I'll be getting the franchise to carry the mails between here and Gold Flats, won't I? What made you think you might not? Well, I, I noticed where Mr. Lamont got into town this morning. Lamont? You know, he's general superintendent for Transcontinental. Why, ain't he called on you? I've never even met him. Oh, golly, I, I'd have bet anything he talked to you. But, but it won't make any difference if he does, will it? Why, of course not, Jim. Where's Lamont now? In the office they got here, I think. At least the ways I passed him and Bart Kruger walking that way. Mm, I've been hearing things about Bart. He just got back in town this morning himself. You heard how he tried to keep the coach from getting through? Yes. Well, he did. He tried every dirty trick he could think of. And if it hadn't been for Wild Bill, he'd have made him work, too. Yes, and that's another thing. Huh? This man who's driving your stage. Wild Bill Riley, you say? That's him? I've heard rumors that he's someone else. Someone even better known. The Lone Ranger? Yes. 
Anything to it? <laughs> Shucks, no. Ain't it crazy how talk like that gets started? Someone gets a fool idea and he tells it to someone else. And that feller adds his two bits worth and passes it on. And pretty soon the whole county knows to be a fact what never was true in the first place. <laughs> you know, I could have used some help from that masked hombre. Yeah, but I don't reckon he'd ever bother to concern himself with me. Well, drop into my office next week. That is, if your coach beats the deadline. We'll have your contract ready. There'll be some details concerning the franchise to be gone into, too. Next week? Well, no sooner than that. But I was hoping you that... forget we... that it'll be at least a week before we can get word from Gold Flats? Oh, you don't savvy, Mr. Crocker. I got all that arranged for... Uh, I'll know one way or the other, maybe tomorrow. Impossible. Oh, shucks, no. Easiest thing there is. I got stage stations along the whole route, you know. The word will be passed along from one to the other by smokes. Won't take no time at all. Smokes? Fires. Fires giving all smoking up the signal with. One smoke will mean they made it, and two will mean they was too late. Mm, that's interesting. I hadn't heard. Sure, it's a right handy system. Well, we'll hope it's one smoke then. I mean that, Jim. I don't like transcontinental's methods. They're big. They represent millions of dollars. Now, you're just a young fellow who... Now, what's that? It sounds like trouble. Come on. What's the shooting for? Is it a holdup? Sounds like wild Indians. Can you see? Uh, something happening outside. Hurry up. Look at that crowd. There he is. There he is. Jim won out. There's a the smoke signal. They got the gold flats in time. Jim Plummer, Lake Grand Continent. Congratulations, Jim. <laughs> but I don't... Jim, wake up. Where are your eyes? Look to the west. Smoke. One column of smoke. You won. Oh, it, it can't be. You did. But you know what that means. You know what it means. Bill did what wasn't possible. He got the gold flats at least 12 hours before the deadline. Men, this calls for a celebration. The drinks are on me. You hear that? But, Mr. Lamont... Listen to the fools. Hear what they yelled? Jim Plummer licked transcontinental. But I It wasn't you. transcontinental that was beaten, however. It was you. I know, It's lucky but... I'm here. I look after things until I decide whom to appoint in your place. You... Yeah. You're firing me? What did you expect? A promotion for failure? A raise for making Transcontinental the laughing stock of the district? Don't you think this story will spread? Jim Plummer, a fellow no one ever heard of, beats Transcontinental. Adams couldn't do it. Wells Fargo couldn't. But because of you, this fellow did. Sit down. If there's enough company money on hand, I'll pay you now. Mr. Lamont, you gotta give me one more chance. Another chance? What for? Plummer has a franchise. What good is another chance now? He's got the franchise, but can he keep it? Huh? How long will he keep that franchise if it's proven he can't keep up regular service? And if he can't, who will get it after him? Hmm. If he fails, he will lose the franchise. Look, Mr. Lamont, you say Jim Plummer beat me, but he didn't. The one that really did was that driver he had. Everybody thinks he's Wild Bill Riley, but I'm here to state he ain't. He's a lone ranger just as sure as I'm standing here now. I'm not interested in that. But you made a suggestion. About Jim not being able to give regular stage service? Yes. You must have had something in mind. His stages have got to run regular. If they carry the mail like they should, ain't they? Naturally. And the government ain't going to put up with it long if they don't. That's obvious. Don't waste my time. Give me a month. Just one month, Mr. Lamont. And my word on it, Jim will lose that franchise and we'll get it. And just how do you intend to bring this about? I'd like you to... You better not, Mr. Lamont. Hmm? Better not what? Well, if I done certain things and you wasn't to know about them, you couldn't be blamed if anything went wrong, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Quite. I get the month? All right, Bart, you do. One month. Not a day more, however, and no excuses accepted. Is that understood? Oh, sure, Mr. Lamont, sure. You just leave things to me. Very well, then. My luggage is at the hotel. I'll go. Well, I'll be... I'll get him. Bless you. Next time I'll get you. Kruger, have you gone crazy? That blasted redskin. You don't know what you... He was at the window. Every place I go, he follows. I can't make a move but what he knows about it. Well, one of these days, I'm going to fill him so full of lead, he'll look like he was hit by a cannonball. With the franchise to carry the mail between Gold Flats and Cooperstown, now his... Jim Plummer immediately expanded his crew and daily sent stages in each direction over the route. 
A week went by and all was peaceful. And then in swift succession, but at widely separated spots, tragedy struck swiftly. Get along there! Get up, Bess! Get along, Smart! We'll be inside of the station in just five minutes, Jeff! Watch out! Engines! Get up! Get up! Pete! You dropped the range! Pete, what's wrong? Hey, ask me, Pete! I... We're going over the side! Oh! Driver, driver, what are we stopping for? It's engines. Hear them? We gotta get turned around. Back there. Back. Come on, back. Back. Whoa, whoa, boy, whoa, whoa there. The engines got the westbound state just outside Bayou Springs. Killed the driver, the messenger, and all three passengers. Stand aside, Jim Plummer's got to know. Get up, get up there. Get up there. In the hills was heard the sinister beat of the tom-toms. The shrill yells of savages shouting and dancing themselves into a frenzy. And outside the village, whose chief was a famous warrior, Yellow Fox, a heavily bearded man stood beside an empty wagon. It was night, and the flames of the great fire around which the tribesmen leaped made weird, flashing patterns. Watching, the bearded man grinned and turned to the savage who stood beside him. (laughs) Well, Yellow Fox... This last load of fire water I brought you seems to have done your braves a heap of good. Mm. And as long as you and them work with me, I'll see to it they get all the liquor they can use. You bring yellow fox wampum? Sure. Cash for you, chief, and fire water for your braves. I'll bring you more of both next trip I make. When that? Oh, maybe in a week or two. I can't just tell. I gotta pick a time when I can sneak out from town without it being noticed. Mm. Now, keep this in mind, chief. You don't touch any coaches belonging to the company I work for, Savvy. Just those I pointed out to you. I showed you where they're different. You can tell them apart. Me, <laughs> chief. Braves do what Yellow Fox say. You not worry. Well, I thought I'd mention it. Be back when I can. Adios. Hmm. Get along there. Come on. Get up. Get up there. Get up. The following night, deep in the forest that stretched for miles north of Cooperstown, a masked man drew his powerful white stallion to a stop beside a carefully shielded campfire. Whoa, Silver, whoa, whoa, old fellas. Keep us hobby. Oh, Tonto, he glad to see you. I got your message. I found Silver where you'd left him and rode here at once. Black Bart, make trouble. That's plain enough. Only Jim Plummer's coaches are being attacked. That means they're following someone's orders. And Black Bart is the only one who would give such orders. That's right. Tonto, we'll have to separate again. What do? I'm going to continue the part I've been playing. I'm going into Cooperstown as Wild Bill Riley. Oh, you not do that. Bart, him think you Lone Ranger. Maybe him get you. Which is a risk I'll have to take. I've already sent word to Jim Plummer by Happy that I'll be in town. I'm keeping my word. And why you go there? Because that's where Black Bart is. As Bill Riley, I can do as I please without question. Mask, I'd be handicapped. Uh. We'll keep this camp as a meeting place. While I'm in town, I want you to investigate for yourself. Find Yellow Fox. We know he's getting liquor. Learn where he's getting it and how. And time to do that. If you can find out when they plan to attack, get word to me. Uh-huh. If these attacks aren't stopped, it means not only that the government will have to withdraw the franchise granted Jim, but troops will be sent here. And troops could easily cause the general uprising. Uh-huh. All right, Tano, get your materials. Hunter, get them. Make me into Wild Bill Riley again, exchange mounts, and then I ride. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The next day, four men met in Jim Plummer's office. Besides Jim himself, there were Crocker, Black Bart Kruger, division manager of the powerful transcontinental and Pacific stage and express line, and Lamont, general superintendent of the same company. Jim was speaking. Mr. Then. Crocker, you can't hold me at fault for what's been happening. I ain't to blame for the Redskins being on the warpath. I understand that, Jim. Then how can it be said I'm to blame for the mails not getting through? No one says you are. Well, there's talk of taking my franchise away. For the very good reason, Plummer, that your line has proved itself helpless to handle the situation. Well, who else could? We could. You see, Transcontinental has resources you haven't, Plummer. We employ a hundred men where you employ one. For every thousand dollars at your command, we have a million. Under circumstances like these, if Transcontinental held the franchise, it could afford to take what steps were necessary for security. We could send out every stage with an armed guard adequate to repel any attack. Sure, sure. I'll bet if you got the franchise, there wouldn't even be no engine troubles. Probably not. But that's because you're behind them. Careful, Jim. Well, it's so. Young man, that's a very serious charge. Would you like an opportunity to prove it in court? If it ain't so, then why is it only my stages are touched? Why don't them Redskins get after yours, too? That shouldn't be hard to figure out. That's what I'm saying. Likely your driver's done something to get the Redskins mad. Maybe they thought it'd be sport to shoot at them. Maybe it was something else. I don't know what it was. But you can be blamed, sure. It's something like it that's behind this. That's a blasted lie. Why, and you? And you're the biggest crook this town ever seen. <coughs> oh! Why, you... I'll show you. Miss, here's one for you. Stop it. Bart, get outside. Ah, uh, Crocker, let me go. I'll You'll hold him still. Up. I'm going to you get outside like I told you. There'll be another time, Bart. And when it comes, you better watch out. Outside with you. Crocker, I apologize for what's happened. Bart had reason, but he should have kept better control of himself. I think I understand, Lamont. Good day. Well, that was clever of you. You didn't expect me just to stand there and take it, did you? At any other time, no. What's different about this time? That should be obvious to you. Crocker was sent here by Washington to settle our dispute over the franchise to carry mail. What he recommends will very likely be accepted. Any fool could see he's prejudiced against us and favorable to Plummer. In a case like this, personal feelings can't be permitted to count. If you'd kept your temper while Plummer lost his, we'd have had at least that much in our favor. He gets me so blatant, Then man. avoid him. Yeah, yeah, I reckon it is best. There's something else I'm going to mention, Bart. Yeah? These Indian attacks. You said you wouldn't ask no questions. So you are behind them, huh? Well, I don't like it. It's a dangerous business. If a thing like that became known, it could easily destroy the entire company. It's getting results, ain't it? Perhaps. Well, then? Indians are dangerous tools. Besides, whites have been killed. I don't forbid your continuing along this line. I've always believed that the end justifies the means. However, it's only fair to give you warning. Huh? If by any chance you're discovered, I'll disclaim all responsibility. What you did was not for the benefit of Transcontinental, but to save your job. You need expect no help from me. Have I asked for anything different? Probably you won't be discovered. If you are, I've mentioned this to prevent any misunderstanding. Aye, right, Savvy. And here's the office. You coming in? No, I think Good I'll... Good afternoon, Bart. Huh? Well, doggone. Remember me? You're the hombre that claims to be Wild Bill. You drove the stages to Gold Flats. I didn't think you'd forget. But you ain't Wild Bill. Careful. You're... You... That's what I came over for. I knew we'd meet while I was in town. I thought maybe it'd be best if we had a little talk at the first. If you still claim... I your... claim nothing. But these do. Look, look here. Oh, I'm not firing them. Yet. You might call it a hint. A hint, Bart, of what might occur in case you were to air those fool notions of yours. That draw. I can repeat it if the occasion arises. I, I ain't said nothing. Uh-huh. Well, that's good enough up to now. From here on, I'd advise you not even to say half that. I... I was mistaken. I, I knew afterwards I was wrong. I, I knew you couldn't be the lone... Easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all, I reckon. Just don't make me remind you again. Now, wait. I was almost forgetting. Huh? Redskins, Bart. Redskins. Yeah, and liquor. Liquor and redskin. Maybe you should be told they don't mix. Well, adios. He knows. No, no, he couldn't. Who is he? I told you that. No. No, never mind. He ain't nobody important. Well, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Lamont, I'll, I'll see you later. I, I got work to do. In the days that followed, Jim Plummer halted the attacks upon his coaches, but only at the expense of the service. Coaches now covered the trail, but once a week, the extra drivers were needed to guard the trail. In the meantime, Black Bart Kruger, becoming impatient, 
secretly sent a message to a Confederate, and sometime later met him at the entrance to an isolated canyon and... Slim? Who do you think it'd be? Whoa, whoa there, whoa. Got all I asked for, huh? Sure. There they are, a dozen gallon jugs. <laughs> Guaranteed to be the rawest and cheapest slicker ever to eat the lining from a redskin's stomach. Have any trouble getting it? Shucks, no. Told you I didn't buy it in town. Folks might start noticing, then asking questions. And after that, maybe doing something about it. Nope, I'd get it off that old fellow's got the place up Boxwood Creek. <laughs> Mix it himself. Don't care what you've done with it. It's just so he's paid and likely wouldn't care even if he was told. He's got plenty? Oh, sure. Why? You're going back and get this much again. Hmm, Any time you send me word. I mean now. No, but why? Yellow Fox needs some stirring up. He's just like all the engines i ever seen. Won't start nothing when it looks like he might have a real fight on his hands. You mean he's hanging back on account of the guards Jim's been sending with his coaches? Just so. Well, if he don't cotton to lead, how do you figure to make him change his notion? By getting him and his brave so full of this poison, they tackle the army. <laughs> There's one won't need much more. Huh? <laughs> the engine that was here. The engine that was here? What engine? Oh, uh, just one come from the village. Yellow Fox sent to see if you mightn't be heading this way with more fire water, I reckon. What'd he do? <laughs> what does any engine do when he sees liquor? We guzzled it, of course. Oh, yeah, that's different. Huh? What was you afraid of? Uh, nothing, I guess. Just thought it might have been another redskin I know of. Only that one don't drink. Mm, don't know who you could mean. But him and the one I seen sure got opposite ideas. This one sampled every doggone jug in the lot. Hey, you loco. Well, sure, it's a fact. He only took one swallow from each, I'll admit that. But there wasn't a jug he missed. Not that injury. <laughs> <laughs> he must have been trying to decide which one was the best. <laughs> <laughs> and likely ain't made up his mind yet. But look here, Bart. You're going to unload these so I can take the wagon back for another dozen? If you do that, you'll have to wait till I get here again before you can drive to the village. Couldn't you take my horse and locate another wagon somewhere? Mm, well, yeah, I reckon I could. Then that's what you'll do. It'll save me time. Get a wagon and lead my horse back. While you're gone, I'll take what's here to Yellow Fox. We should both be back about the same time. Then I can make the second trip. And the other wagon? Uh, you can come for it tomorrow. It'll be safe. Sure. Uh, that'll be all right. <laughs> And get going. Don't waste time. I'll see you here as soon as I can make it. Get up there. Get up. Get along there. Get along, blast you. Get up. Get up there. Get up. Black Bart drove to Yellow Fox's village, delivered the contraband whiskey, then returned to the canyon where he found Slim waiting for him. With his second load, he set out once more for the village. But he had completed scarcely half the journey when, from behind a cluster of trees, an Indian mounted upon a powerful white horse rode out to block his path. Cut him up, Silver! Board him! You stop! Whoa! Put him back! Whoa! (laughs) Tonto! Ah, me, Tonto! Get out of my way! You turn back! Why, you... You not go, village. You said I was going to the village. What do you know about it? Just get out of my way. He warned you. To blazes with your warnings. You You go, village. Yellow fox kill you. Huh? Him heap mad. Injun drink liquor. Get sick. Him kill you. What kind of a fool story is that you're handing me? Tonto tell truth. Aye. That horse. That ain't the horse you've been riding. When I seen you before, you was riding the paint. I got it. That hombre in town is the Lone Ranger. Now I know where I seen that paint he's got. It belonged to you and you switched horses. And that critter there is silver. You not love Ruff me, Woody. I always figured he was a lone ranger disguised. But I wasn't sure enough to call for a showdown. Wait till I get back to town. I'm going to be the first man ever to see the lone ranger's real face. You go town now. That can keep till I see Yellow Fox. <laughs> Surprised you, huh? Didn't figure I'd admit I was going there. Well, Injun, just try to go into Cooperstown and tell him what I said. You're a redskin. And after the killings there's been, they string you up before you could open your mouth. <laughs> so now you know the truth and can't do a blame thing about it. You turn back. Get aside like I told you before. Oh, you heap big fool. I'm not fool enough to do anything suggested by you or your part. Now stand aside. Oh, you? You not shoot? I ain't attracting attention if I can help it. But, Injun, you get that horse out of my way or I'll drill you no matter what. And you not... Do I... like I say. Uh, you make a mistake. Get him up, Silver. Get him up. Go tell your pod your trick didn't work. 
But stay clear of me. All right, you critters. Lay into it. We gotta make up time. Get up, guys. Get up. Tonto rode directly to the camp selected by the Lone Ranger as a meeting place. His white friend was there, and Tonto recounted what had happened. When he had finished, the Lone Ranger mounted Silver, then... Tonto, we've got to stop him. Maybe it's too late now. You told him what Yellow Fox would do? Huh? But you didn't tell him you'd poison that liquor. Not have chance. Him shoot. Yellow Fox will believe Bart is responsible. Huh? Did you put enough poison in those jugs to um, kill? Me not do that. Make him heap sick, though. Well, one thing is true. What that? He refused to believe you when you told him the truth. He forced you out of his path. If he dies, Tonto will be by his own hands. Come on, Silver! Hurry, old fellow! Hurry! But in the cafe on the day after... You hear what happened to Black Bart? He was killed by engine. Wild Bill found him. How in thunder do you figure it happened? Hey, here comes Jim Plummer. Wonder what he thinks about it. Hi, Jim. Howdy, fellas. Hello there, Fred. Howdy, Clem. Anybody seen Mr. Lamont? Is he around here anyplace? There he is. He's over at that table with Mr. Crocker. Oh, thanks, fellas. Hello, Mr. Crocker. Oh, hello, Jim. How do you do? Mr. Lamont. Yes? Bill, Bill just told me about him finding Bart. Oh. I... Well, I thought it was only right to tell you I, I was sorry. Sorry? I mean, you know what I said about Bart being behind them engines and the raiding it done. Of course, I see now how wrong I was. You've changed your mind, eh? Well, there's some things that need explaining. Things I ain't got figured out yet, but at least a ways there's one thing plain. And that? If it had been Bart uh, taking liquor to the engines, they wouldn't have killed him, would they? That stands to reason. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. At any rate, Jim, whatever the truth, Black Bart's dead. I think we leave it at that. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.